Right, so I'm taking out the M10 today and also the M6 with some Neopan 1600, which is expired in 2011. Uh, got in the car, decided to head to Ballot Castle, um, hit the motorway very slow. Not even fully joined the motorway yet and I'm already halfway down my iron brew. As you can see, we're making great progress. Um, we have got the dogs in the car, we've got Marshall and Barnaby. We live right next to the airport, so we are currently passing the airport and Marshall's just like staring at planes as they take off. Never seen such focus. All right, first shot of the roll, let's go. It's rubbish. Um, start of the roll, no biggie. Something we always notice when we're stuck in traffic is just how massive road signs actually are. It's not something you really pay attention to. But when you're standing next to them, they're bloody massive. I fired off this shot of this man who was just like walking in the middle of the road, like signaling cars, a guy in a suit. It's really weird. I would have loved to have uh, got a clearer photo of him or gotten closer, but given that it was three whole lanes over from where we needed to be, it wasn't uh, wasn't worth a diversion. Already I'm out of my own brew. Uh, it started pissing it down real hard. Uh, fortunately though, having lived in Scotland for six whole years, uh, I'm prepared for such weather and always dress appropriately. Honestly, Marshall has such a wonderful life with us. He goes out everywhere, yet here he is with his ears back, looking like he's just been told he's going to be put down. The speed robin hits water sometimes, I'm just like, is this going to be my last car journey? When we came out the other side of this bridge to a clear blue sky, I immediately felt a lot better about only wearing a denim shirt. Or at least that was until the road went left, took us back into the rain. Uh, we stopped to get some fuel and to uh, get some, some food. This is where I took this incredible photograph of the pavement by accident. Now I'm not really a car person, but this Ferrari caught my eye because it wasn't like the usual red that you, you'd normally see. It was, like a, it was like a really soft, pastely blue. As you can see, the choice for black and white film really paid off. Um, I'd also have liked to have got it all in frame, but I was lacking in the uh, real world no clip cheat code to take a step back through a brick wall. Robin told me I had to check out the uh, toilet. Um, she said it was weird, and there's a little rabbit behind me there. It also looks like I'm stood in a field of sunflowers. Also with a massive sunflower ahead of me. Now, when I'm in a shop or whatever, if there's a lot of people, I get a flap in my head and I, I just can't deal with it. Anyway, I wanted a little packet of crisps to go with my meal deal, so I picked one up. When I got back to the car, it wasn't a little packet of crisps. It did last me for most of the journey, though. And that was it. The car journey is over. We've arrived at Ballot Castle. Um, and it's a clear blue sky. Well, it's not clear. There's clouds. But it's a blue sky and it's sunny. And more importantly... It's not raining. So I took the M10 with me because I only took one roll of film and I thought I might want to take some extra photos. Then when I was out, um, I thought I'd occasionally take a photo that I took with the M6. So it's a bit of a comparison. Um, I don't want to go down the whole versus thing and say it's like, it's, it's not a shootout between the two cameras. I, I think that's pointless, especially when one's film and one's digital. Um, but yeah, they both had a 35mm lens on and I just thought it might be interesting to look at. We'll just quickly add though that um, something I love about the M6 and the M10 is just how, I mean, yeah, the M cameras are the same family, but like you, using them is just like switching between the two is just seamless and that just makes it comfortable. Um, even though like arguably a lot of cameras, are, they function in a very similar way, but these feel like they function the same. I honestly couldn't tell you why I took this photo, so I'll, we'll just move on. I suppose something I'll just have to accept is that uh, I just love taking photos of my dogs, especially when I go on walks, like, they're just always there, so therefore, there will always be photographs of dogs. We're always looking for mushrooms when we're in the woods. Like, it just brings us absolute joy. And I swear, Robin can just find the fucking, the most tiniest thing from, like, meters away and she'll just spot it, it, it like, it's like it glows red for her and she, she just like hones in on it and it's like, oh she's like, Holly, I, I found this amazing thing and I'm like, where is it? She's like, it's way over there. I'm like, of course you can see it. Why wouldn't you be able to? Here comes Barnaby. He's blind, while well, he's going blind. His pupils have collapsed. But it's the happiest ball of rage you'll ever meet. Sometimes when I walk off and leave Robin and Marshall behind Barnaby, just like, he comes with me for a bit. So anyway. I thought I'd take some portraits of him. 
One of the good things about being in the woods all the time is that it really occupies the dogs with all the smells. So that by the time we get home, they're absolutely knackered. Uh, screwed up this exposure. Next. Okay, here's in the foot of a tree. Uh, messed this one up. And this one's exposed better, but the focus is off. So basically, I'm really nailing these photos today. Should probably point out the settings I was using. Um, I was exposing the film at 800 rather than 1600. Um, in the sun, I was exposing that at like f11 around there. And then when I was in the trees, 5.6. Or if I was like, if it was like heavily shady, then I'd open it up even more. Marshall. I'm not even going to pretend to know what these are. Is it just a result of hippies showing off or something? Um, either way, they look cool and they were all over. So I took a few photos of it. I seem to have taken two identical photographs, so it appears that rule number two of double tap is firmly embedded in my brain. Here's another one with the M10 because I apparently can't get enough of it. I started making my way out on this. Um, I wanted to get to the end and turn around and take a photo of the shore, but um, rocks weren't very stable and I didn't really fancy falling in the water with two cameras, to be honest. Um, of course, this didn't stop Robin. Uh, she went right to the edge. I'm surprised she didn't fall in. Um, in fact, I'm surprised she didn't get in the water full stop because as soon as she sees water, she's just like, right, I'm getting in. It doesn't matter how cold it is. Took a little walk up the shore, threw some sticks into the water for the dogs to go and swim after. I always find that's good practice to um, for tracking, focusing. Um, because the dogs are always like going in and out like quite far and when they're running back it's quite quick so if, you, if you're not the zone focusing with a huge depth of field it's you know, keeps you on your toes so there's a few quick portraits of each other it'd be uh, rude not to get photos of the cameras that everyone's so obsessed with doing online don't panic we're taking photos of dogs again soon see I don't know why I didn't take one with the M6 here, but here's two with the M10 anyway. Found this surfboard just like lying there. Is it a surfboard? Bodyboard? I don't know the difference. Um, or is it something else entirely? Anyway, uh, fired off a few photos with this for a comparison. Um, Barnaby snuck in right at the end. Surprised I've gone so long in the video without mentioning it yet, but I really love how Neopan looks. Now, grain isn't something that I usually get too concerned over, um, but I've noticed it's a lot finer this time round. Um, I developed it with my friend Brian um, in whatever chemical solution he uses. I can't remember the names. Um, but compared that to before when I was developing in the Sinistil Monobath and it was noticeably grainier. Like, I don't know, the difference is obscene. That's not to say that the Sinistil's bad. Um, yeah, I found it very convenient um, and it was super easy to use. We're actually almost near the end of the roll of film now. Um, here's a foot of a tree with a person on it. And this is what appears to be a noose for a, like a, a small bird. Everywhere we go, finding mushrooms. And yet another exposure I completely screwed up. I think deciding to do a, a full video with a full roll of film, regardless of the quality of photographs, is uh, an error of judgement on my part. It's deeply embarrassing. Because at this point I noticed I was like on the last frame of film. I maybe had two frames, but it was likely one. And it was as we looked around to go back to the car. Uh, so we made our way up the hill and I wanted to get a photo of um, Ballot Castle and I did it. I got the photo uh, and it was the last frame. When it was when I scanned it, it was it was all knackered. Like there was some little little holes in it and a little wear and tear. So I had to get on Photoshop on that and, and fill them in. But I got the photo that I wanted. Um, I mean, it's not even a great photo, but I wanted a photo of the castle, so I got one. Um, and the rest are just taken with the M10 now as we made our way back to the car. That was it. That was our day out to Ballot Castle in the sun. One roll of film. Here's Marshall running around 